हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सीरीज ऑन द बायोटेक्नोलॉजी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द बायो रेमिडिएशन ऑफ द मरीन ऑयल पोल्यूडेंट्स बट बिफोर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो वट इज़ अ बायो रेमिडिएशन ओके सो इट इज़ डिफाइंड एज एनी प्रोसेस दैट यूज इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स और देयर एंजाइम्स टू रिटर्न द एनवायरमेंट दैट इज एल्टर्ड बाय द कंटामिनेंट्स टू इट्स ओरिजिनल कंडीशन सो बेसिकली वी कैन से वी दिस प्रोसेस इज यूज टू इम्प्रूव द कंडीशन ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट ओके दैट इज फ्रॉम द पोल्यूटेड वन टू द नॉन पोल्यूटेड वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज यू कैन सी पोल्यूटेंट्स आर ऑफ वेरियस टाइप फॉर एग्ज इन केस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक दे आर इन फॉर्म ऑफ सोलड लिक्विड एंड gas in they are inorganic as well in environment okay that is in soil and water and air they create pollution in case of organisms that is microorganism plants and enzymes so they all are interconnected so bioremediation is that process now the bioremediation of marine oil pollutants so introduction an oil spill is the release of a liquid petroleum hydrocarbon into the marine ecosystem basically the ocean or the seas due to the human activity so uh, bioremediation is an emerging technology for the treatment of marine oil spills that is uh, whenever an oil spill uh, is uh, we can say entered into any marine ecosystem then how it should be treated that bioremediation is the answer so many microorganisms are used such as bacteria fungi and algae for the treatment bioremediation is the most important technology that is used in the restoration of the oil polluted environment by use of natural microbial biodegradation activities so the useful microorganisms that are used in the treatment of the oil spills or we can see the oil pollutants in case of bacteria the acromobacter bacillus brevibacterium corne bacterium nocardia pseudomonas and vibrio in case of yeast and fungi that is aspergillus candida cladosporium penicillium and trichoderma was there then the sources of the oil into the sea that is how so uh, the oil is introduced into the sea through what we can say agents so first is that is the natural seep in case of 47% as you know oil um, uh, we can say sea or the oceans are the rich reservoirs of the natural oil so by natural seeping it contributes to 47% by the production uh, processes it got entered into the aquatic ecosystem. system that is 3% by transport uh, that is whenever we transport it by she ships or uh, any other means then 12% and by consumption it got entered into the ecosystem by the 38% so air it we can say consumption uh, we can say consumption is the main we can say the maximum amount is contributed by the consumption only then the types that is how it can be treated the types of bioremediation methods first is the bio augmentation so it involves introducing the oil degrading organisms to the affected site okay so the degradation of oil will only occur if other requirements are met that is not only microorganism are required but other requirements such as available nutrients that is needed for the microorganisms growth and the proper environmental and temperature and temperature is needed then the second step is the biostimulation so in this adding of supplemental nutrients to the affected site okay to aid the existing oil degrading microorganisms that is we have to supply oxygen nitrogen to them in the form of nutrients so that they can perform their activity well then the biostimulative agents are oleophilic that is it means they bond completely to the hydrocarbons okay that are present in the oil okay so that they will perform their action actively so this is the typical oil polluted marine ecosystem and its clean up strategy that is first is physical or mechanical clean up then the chemical strategy we should perform then biological method that is um, introduction of the microorganisms then biosurfactants and at last the nutrients addition that is the bio stimulation the another next thing that is what we can do here is addition of a microbial seeding or a inoculum that are capable of the degrading hydrocarbons inoculum means basically uh, some sort of uh, we can say some 
पीस ऑफ और सम अमाउंट ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर टेकन फ्रॉम अनदर वी कैन से ऑयल स्पिल साइट और ऑयल पोल्यूटेड साइट एंड इंट्रोड्यूस हेयर दैट इज वेयर द बायो रिमिडेशन प्रोसेस विल टुक प्लेस ओके सो मोस्ट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर ऑप्टेंड फ्रॉम एनरिस्ट कल्चर्स दैट इज फ्रॉम अ प्रीवियसली कंटामिनेटेड साइट आफ्टर इनोकुलम एडिशन अ फर्टिलाइजर इज एडेड देन एनवायरमेंट मॉडिफिकेशन इज डन दैट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट शुड बी मॉडिफाइड according to the need of the microorganisms adequate aeration nutrient source is a prerequisite also so now some examples or we can say history of the oil uh, spill okay so the words first wake up to the disaster of an oil spill when on 18 march 1967 a lipran tanker okay Terry Canyon run around on the southwest coast of the Great Britain near the extents of the English Channel okay spilling uh, spilling 60000 tons of the crude oil into the sea oil spreads on to the 160 km off coast coastline okay killing the fish and the birds then in india coast have also suffered from the tanker disaster in july 1973 3000 of the tons of the oil washed on the gujarat uh, कॉस्ट वेन एज ऑयल टैंकर कॉस्मो स्पाइनियर रन टर्न अराउंड ओके सो इन टॉक्सिक एनवायरमेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर सफर्ड फ्रॉम एडुकेट टेम्परेचर पी एच इन ऑर्गेनिक न्यूट्रेंट सो एज ऑयल इज इनसोलबल इन वाटर एंड इज लेस डेंस सो इट फ्लोट्स ऑन द वाटर सर्फेस इट शुड बी नोटेड दैट इन द बल्क स्टोरेज ऑफ ऑयल ऑन द सी सर्फेस माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ इज नॉट पॉसिबल देयर बिकॉज वाटर एंड एयर नॉट अप्रोच टू द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म सो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म विच आर कैपेबल फॉर डिग्रेडिंग द पेट्रोलियम इनक्लूड द सुडोमोनाज various bacteria such as cyanobacteria and have we have discussed earlier so this is it so this is a diagram representing the creation of a super bug for the degradation of oil pollutants so here basically use of genetically engineered bacterial strain is uh, utilized we can say uh, so in 1971 for the first time anand mohan chakravarti Indian born American scientist obtained a strain of Pseudomonas putida okay that contain the XYL okay plasmid and the NaH plasmid as well as hybrid plasmid that is derived by recombining the part of the cam and the OCT plasmid then this OCT E is formed and the XYL NaH is formed okay so this strain could grow rapidly on the crude oil because it was capable of uh, metabolizing the hydrocarbon more efficiently than any other single plasmid in 1990 usa government allowed him to use this super bug for cleaning up of an oil spill in the water of the state of the texas super bug was produced on a large scale in the laboratory mixed with straw and dried when the straw was spread on the oil sticks the straw soaked up the soil and the bacteria broke up to the oil into a non polluting and a harmless pro uh, product so again if we can say what is the best method that is bio augmentation versus bio stimulation so bio augmentation is best because nutrients are loaded in the bio stimulation but it involves natural microbes that is bio augmentation involves natural microbes which make the bio remediation more efficient uh, steps for using fungi for bio remediation of pollutants so as first of all isolation of fungi from a contaminated site then identification of the fungi from the contaminated oil sample sample that is which should which fungi should be utilized for this purpose then the appliance of an effectual method as the biodegradation of the oil spill that is that is bio augmentation or the bio stimulation a method and at last testing the capacity of an isolated fungi then enhancement of bio remediation that is how we should enhance the uh, conditions for the proper bio remediation of the marine oil pollutant that is we can add oxygen that is addition of oxygen a nutrient addition that is the method is bio stimulation using alternative electron acceptor okay and addition of surfactants and addition of microorganisms that is bio augmentation the natural process then the advantages of uh, we can say bio remediation of the marine oil pollutant so we can say it is a less expensive method natural process not disruptive to the surrounding ecosystem 
okay it does not require moving oil to another location that is on site treatment is there it continues to improve the conditions but there are some disadvantages also as we know uh, bio augmentation is not very effective its success depends on the proper nutrients and the environmental conditions as it involves the natural microorganisms only it take times to evaluate the site and it take time to see the result also so these are the advantages and disadvantages of the bio augmentation process which is mostly are used for the bioremediation of the marine oil pollutants so this is a diagram representing the whole process of the bioremediation first of all here is the oil spill that is uh, from contaminated we can say it contaminated the water okay petroleum oil that is seeped out from a ship then hydrocarbons from the oil okay then hydrocarbon degrading bacteria are utilized here that is we can say the bio augmentation process then these bacteria are uh, cover the whole oil droplet that is around the oil droplet that is they they attach themselves to the hydrocarbon okay then a production of co2 and h2o took place okay and at last oxidation of the hydrocarbons that is o3 is formed okay and if some we can say some part is remaining for the biodegradation then again it got transferred to uh, that process only so this is the whole process of biodegradation of pollutants some there are some challenges also in that process that is first is the heterogeneity of contaminants um, we can say in the oil spill also there are various type of materials got combined not only single hydrocarbons so this will be a challenge and variable environmental conditions are there okay sometimes high temperature or less temperature high ph or low ph and extreme concentration of the hydrocarbons which is uh, we can say uh, bacteria are unable to degrade them properly so yeah this is all about the bioremediation of the marine oil pollutants hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel